Look at that wonderful painting with that beautiful mountain and that beautiful island there. Wouldn't you like to be there? Nice to park your camper on the side and unload and have your breakfast there and enjoy that happy fresh morning. This is what I will show you when we start painting. The magic of oil painting is made possible by a grant from Aaron Brothers Art Marts. That's what we have to do. I have to put myself in that almighty bubble. You know, I never could start painting before brainwashing myself. I use a bad word. Brainwashing is quite a bit of a hard uh, thing to talk about. But I got to be in that painting with, my, with, my, my, with all my inside. So uh, do that too. I wish you would. When you see a painting like that, I could never say, oh, that's a little bit of blue sky, or there's a mountain there, and there's an island there, and there's that, and that, and that. No, no. I have the smell. I, f I smell the island. I smell the, the air. I, I, I feel the cold or the heat. Or you try to feel the whole thing. Then it becomes a part of you, that whole painting. And then it becomes so dumb easy. It is so easy. Now let me show you how we start. What we see on that painting. So first I put the magic white on. Every time you see what I do on the white canvas, I always put the magic white on. I hate to do that at this uh, minute v time I, I lose on my painting there. So uh, the canvas is wet. What you see there, a happy blue sky. Now look how I take that, uh, that paint off. See, I use my big brush, dry and clean, and go into the Prussian blue. But on the, the blue is so dark, but the white is on the canvas. And look how it changes here. I, I mix. What I do really when I put that paint on the canvas, I'm mixing with that white. <clears throat> and that blue, what was so dark here, it is so light there because the white, the wet white is on the canvas. OK, I take more off like this. You see? And you fire in a bit, maybe a bit bluer sky, and, and you mix and make it very happy, and let it go lighter on the bottom, and go there and there. Maybe and if there's a hair, shoot it off like that. And see, in no time already, you got a, a kind of a happy sky there. <clears throat> now, we want the water. Usually, the sky is always reflecting in the water. Then do the same thing on the bottom. See, in the water, you can do it just like this. Just like this. See, and make it darker to the bottom. The, the, the sky reflects in the water. Let get lighter, lighter. And what you see now, you have a horizon line. And you see it deep. It is not flat. It is an illusion. You create the optic illusion. An illusion. OK. Make sure I have a dry brush. Now hypnotize the whole thing like this. But when you hypnotize it, that means do it from the light into the dark, not from the dark. I go from the bottom up and collect the dirt on top. See? So that is where you get your, your speed in. Then here in the water, that's all right. See, that's all right. I have it all nicely spread out. OK. The next step. <coughs> I will put that happy mountain in there. Look what I do. Take a good look on my palette. Right off there. Use a little bit of Van Dyke uh, Prussian blue. A little bit of Lisbon crimson. For that distance, I would keep it more in the blue and Lisbon crimson. If I go closer, I use a touch of uh, Van Dyke brown. And then mix it like this. Take a good look. Take a good look. See? There, 
I thank you, dear sister, and leave it like marble again. <clears throat> never, never mix it dead. That means when I say dead, uh, don't mix it so this is nothing left anymore, just one color. Have all kinds of movements in that paint. So now I take it off and put it on that almighty canvas. You don't have to do it exactly like that. I aim for roughly, I want to have the impression of that painting. So we fire in there, maybe there is that mountain, see, there, standing up like this, and like this, and we were off, uh, up, and here. But when you use the knife, you see how hard I press, and make sure you don't have too much paint on the canvas. See, make sure you have too much, you don't have so much paint on your canvas. See how I scrape? But what I really aim now is the upper lines. All the upper lines, I want to have it correct. And maybe on this side, there's other little mountain I see there standing there, all right, and we do it like this. Maybe give him another peak there. Whatever you see, whatever you like to. See? And you know there's a tree here, and here we've got through because uh, I can see uh, you need a part of the mountain on the other side. See, now that's all you did. <coughs> now I use my big brush, my almighty brush. <coughs> Make sure you got no paint dinner on, on the brush, and cut that in like this. See, cut it in like this. See what happened now? It is, our paint is very strong and thick and hard. The paint I use, I never can paint with the paint what is very soupy or very sloppy. It got to be a solid paint. And you see what I did create? Kind of a mist. Out of the mist, the mountain is coming up there. Beautiful. <clears throat> so the next step will be, I will, I will, they will, he will, I will, I will put the sunshine on the mountain. Light is coming from that side there. Okay. See, there. And let it fly in. Look, it, it, it falls apart on the bottom. <coughs> See, whatever you want to highlight now, you can do it here and there a little bit and there a little bit. And here again and here again. Pull it down. But there's not much paint on. I don't use too much paint. <clears throat> it looks like, but I really don't. See? Always from the light side. If the light comes from this side, light it from this side. Or the light comes from the front, light it just from the front. <clears throat> A side light is always easier to, to work with. It's easier to work with. Hey, maybe here we highlight a little bit, there we highlight a little bit. See, it becomes alive already. Now from the other side, you use white and blue. Let me show you a touch of blue and white. I mix a happy little blue there. Take a look how I do it. See? Kind of a happy light blue. And you highlight from the other side. See? It's a little bit on the dark side. So add a little bit more white. <coughs> oh, that's better. See, now you just highlight. See how it comes alive, the whole mountain becomes alive now, here and there, wherever you think, a little bit of blue in between, that gives you more life in that almighty mountain. Look at that. Ah, beautiful. You know, I paint for so many years, and it still excites me, <clears throat> it still excites me when I can put that paint on like this, and I am the commander and the chief and the bottle washer, I do everything with so much power. And this is important. I don't know what it is. It makes me feel I cannot make a stroke uh, as a sample. I could not make it just slow like this. It all has to be 
I have to scare my canvas. See, like that. That's fine. Already the happy mountain is there. Now we will use a big brush. There's a kind of a grout in between, like a wilderness, trees. Uh, I will use the same color. This watch it. The same color I have here, the mountain, I come attached forwards, a bit blue into that. See, a little touch of blue into that. And I got, I come attached forwards, you see, watch. And make those moves like I show you here. Oh, I just go roughly by that painting. <clears throat> this time, you remember the other shows, I always showed you just the painting, but we got so much mail and people ask me always, uh, it would be nice to see the finished product before you start. And that's why we decided to have a painting in, in before we start. So they made me paint all those paintings before. Okay. See, now that's it. And always from the dark into the light, from the dark into the light. Like you see on top it's dark and it gets light. And have those strokes like this, it gives you like it's standing up. You see lines are standing up there. See? Lines are standing up. See, in that distance you don't need any tree trunk there. <clears throat> okay, now I will have the next step. Uh, the next step, uh, again, I use the same. Take a good look how I come forward. Now you see this color, this color. I just add to the same soup here. I started a bit more blue, maybe now a little touch of uh, uh, Van Dyke brown. And it makes it a little touch darker. See, that's a, just a touch darker. It's a harmony in the color. And then you go to like this, see? There you are, there you are. And when you really think what I paint is land, sky, water, in the sunshine, in the rain, in the storm, it is still, it's still nothing else but land, sky, mountain, trees, and water. That's our, we live in that. So it is not so difficult. See, here I make little upstrokes. Take a look. See, little upstrokes like this. And in that distance, it gives me a feeling of uh, something is standing up there, right? Okay, see, the next step again will be the big brush, the almighty brush, and cut it in, go into that and cut it down a little bit like this, see, cut it down a little bit like this. It depends on what you want to make out of that. So, and then you do it like this, see, already it has that water feeling. There you are. And now you use your almighty knife and a touch of white. And you can have a touch of red if you want to. White and red, the kind of ochre color I mix myself. See? And then you can put on the horizon line there or the shore line, the shore line, not the horizon line, here. There you are. Use your big brush, clean it up again, one almighty stroke, long like this. See? Now we have a happy little island. Always next comes next comes next. You saw sky first, the far away mountain, middle ground, and now we go into the foreground. And I will fire in a little happy, uh, I use sap green, a touch of sap green with that. Now here we show colors already. And a touch of Van Dyke Brown. And we can go right into that paint here. There's nothing wrong with that. And a touch of blue. See, now I mix it up just perfect for what I want to do there. And you fire in the happy. You can have it higher, lower, whatever you want to see. See, there I put the happy little island in. And you make sure you don't have blocks. Don't block it, just, just make sure you have it just uh, uh, like trees with branches and with, hey, there you are. I hope you can see it right. There, happy little island. Now we will, we will put a couple tree trunks in there, you see. Look how that works. 
Beautiful, beautiful, no problem there. Then you can use a touch of blue, even that little blue what you got there, and, and have a little bit of a stone formation if you want to. See, there's some stones on that particular island, and maybe there, there is a kind of a sand in front of it. So we use yellow, white, and a touch of red, more white, and we cut in a kind of a shoreline there. You see that happy little that happy little sandbar in front of that island. <coughs> that happy little sandbar in front of that island. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Now I can see the kids would like to swim over there. And mothers, don't do that. You ground yourself. Kids never ground themselves. They're tough. You know, you highlight that a little bit, a bit of green, there, that's done. Now, the next step, you can use a big brush, use it on mighty brush, it works faster for you. Passion blue, sap green, passion blue, sap green, but look how much paint I use. Maybe we make a good close-up on this, how I mix that paint together. Just mix it all together. There's passion blue and there's sap green on this here. But I wiggle it into the brush. See, our paint is harder because the harder paint will not smear. It will always make figures. And that's what I want. Now I fire in here. But you see, a good shot again, if you don't mind. Uh, push the brush like this, a side move. See, that side move. And now it is touch and move, like I touch it and move. Touch and move, 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 move. See, there, there, there. See, and then you have all the thousand details there. <coughs> See, and then here I need that dark anyway. Light will only show on dark. And here we do it the way that other painting is. I will do it roughly, you don't have to do it exactly like that. Again, see how I push that paint off the palette? More pression blue, maybe a touch of uh, sap green, more into that. And then you fire it on this side if you want. Again, touch and move, see? Touch and move, touch and move. And the details, look at the beautiful branches flying around. fires right into the water. Now, it should be darker there. So what you do then, uh, blue, Prussian blue and yellow tones green. See, Prussian blue, that gives you more dark. Oh, that's beautiful. <coughs> the next step, I will put a little wind into the water there. I will put a little breeze into the water and we show you how to do that. White, see how I pull that white off? Lots of white, but it's got to be a thick white, not a sloppy white. Kind of a thicker white, nice like this. Brush is loaded and then you give yourself a stroke there. But make sure you got it nice and straight, see? You can leave it like that if you want to. There's like a little wind is going through. Now you pull this along, this along here. Maybe a couple of upstrokes there on the island. Oh, that's all wonderful. The next step, the next step, I put three trunks in, three trunks. Can you see that? See how fast it goes? No fiddling around. Here the same. It 
if you see wilderness, you know that <laughs> we are so fussy. When I start off, I made every little branch with so much fuss, and it didn't look good. It, it looks too stiff. Now I do it with this almighty, with my almighty inside, and it looks so much better. And it is fresh. It has the freshness of your, of your, of your time. See, if you suffer on a painting, you know a suffering painting. That's a good idea. A suffering painting. Then, the people what get your pain, they suffer with you. No, I have a new idea now. A suffering painting. I will talk about that in the future. Okay, <clears throat> good. The next step, I will use. Uh, I highlight all that with yellow, and you saw the brush was full of Prussian blue, and yellow and blue tones uh, green. So, and I make it the same thing. See, like the shoe, and I fire in from the sunny side. See there. There. Oh, isn't that beautiful? A bit lighter even, a bit lighter would be better. So push a bit more yellow into that, and that turns green on your brush. But when you do this kind of strokes, there's always one touch, and don't go over that one touch. <clears throat> that's one stroke, and that's almighty stroke. Don't forget it. Uh, when, when you start painting, you usually think it's not nice enough. You go over that, and you ruin it. Look how nice the touches are. Leave it like that. I know we are always tempting to do it better, and by doing it better, we are always ruining it. <clears throat> now here I highlight that again, see? But when you watch me, how I touch it, it's always one touch, or beside it. You see? One touch. If I go over that, I ruin that wonderful touch. Don't ruin it. Okay, now we will highlight there a little bit and put a bit of happy green grass in uh, here, maybe. And you got to have that almighty. I have a lot of songs in my mind. When I paint, I, f I hear tunes. I hear, hear the world is bubbling. It is just wonderful around me. Because then, then all that makes so much more sense. See here again. Now, if it is so dark on top, I brighten it up. Look at that stroke alone, what it did. Take a look at that beautiful touch. It's just fantastic, see? And this is what wakes you up by talking to yourself. And look at that beautiful touch there. And it excites you. All those branches are flying out now. All those branches are flying out now. Here we create a little bit of a foreground. See? There. That is beautiful. Your big brush, pull that all down. I want to make water out of that there. See, all that in the back reflects into the water. Now we put a couple happy stones in there, or whatever, look, with this kind of a bluish color. Blue, a little in crimson. A little in crimson and Prussian blue, if you mix that right together, you will have a lot of fun. You will have a lot of fun. I have to take my almighty rag. It works better. See, a bit of other happy blue into that. A little bit light hit there and it's there. See, let the knife do the job. That's all beautiful. <coughs> See, now we will run in a happy little road coming out of that, out of that bush there. See, let it come out there and get wider, 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 wider. Perspective right. See? There we are. See, then you can put those lines in, fly them in here and there and there. See, and if you want, you can put a bit of shadow in there, uh, uh, like this. Here, you make it a bit darker there in 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 the 
in the bush, see, and come out because those trees are around, draw little shadows uh, on, on that little road. And when it comes out, out that dark, it comes into the light. So it gives you a certain depth into that. <coughs> see? Yeah. Now the next step, we put the couple happy little lines in here, like that, a little sandbar, a happy little sandbar. And look what we got. See? See? Now, naturally, you put a little bit of water lines in. Let's do it a bit better here, so that you see it nice. See, it gives you kind of a beautiful shoreline there, sandbar. You up there and fish out to the uh, to the to the island or to the to the water side. See, there you are. See, a couple little lines in front there, but makes that water move a bit better. See? No. What do you think about it? Aren't you happy to see a happy ending like this? Happy ending like this? You wish you could stay there with the big fishing rod and, and a basket full of food and catch those beautiful rainbow trouts there. See here, a couple little... Bye-bye, that is it. In response to overwhelming viewer requests, KOCE has prepared a personal guide to Bill Alexander's Magic of Oil Painting 3. To receive your copy of this instructional book on Bill Alexander's painting technique, please send $8 to Magic 3, Post Office Box 2703, Huntington Beach, California, 92647. The Magic of Oil Painting is made possible by a grant from Aaron Brothers Art Marts.